Here are the details that we know so far of the minimal phone. It will have a 4000 mAh battery with rapid charging which will take it from 0 to 80% in 30 minutes and a full charge in 1 hour. It will have a headphone jack, front light and the keyboard will have raised keys. It will be 72mm wide, 120mm long and 10mm thick. They're exploring the possibilities of having 5G on it. The minimal phone will run the latest Android operating system, so probably 13 or 14, and will have a Google Play Store. The phone will be launched on Kickstarter and it was planned to do so on the first week of February 2024. But it has now been pushed back to the second last day of Feb, which is the 28th. All the specs, pictures and videos of the product will be unveiled on that day. The price is set to be $400. The first concern is this statement made by the founder, quote, Our minimum production target for the first crowdfunding batch is set at 3,000 units. While we aim to achieve this goal, if there are challenges in reaching the necessary order threshold, it could impact the project's ability to launch. We're actively working to generate support, and the growing waitlist increases our confidence in surpassing our goal for a successful launch. Many users have raised concerns over the fact that there are no real physical prototype products. The only pics we've seen so far of the phone are concept 3D designs and even those have some inconsistencies. However, the creator of the phone has assured us that pics and videos of the phone will be shown on the launch day. So we will have to wait and see. Regardless of that, this is a new company and this will be their first product, so please make sure that you do proper research before clicking that pre-order button. Having said that, the idea of making an e-ink phone with Google Play and a physical keyboard is a genius move and I'm excited to see this concept come to life. I hope the crowdfunding will be successful and the minimal phone reaching the hands of the backers becomes a reality. And while the screen for now will be a black and white e-ink, I hope the CEO of this company will also consider making a color version using the latest Kaleido 3 display, as we are in dire need of a successor to the A5 Pro CC now that Hisense has stopped making e-ink phones. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more e-ink and RLCD videos.